Το κυρίαρχο στερεότυπο ο γύρω από την Ελληνοαμερικανική ιστορία συνοψίζεται στην Ελληνοαμερικανική επιτυχία. Οπότε κάθε αφήγηση η οποία έχει μια εναλλακτική οπτική βρίσκεται αντιμέτωπη με μια καχυποψία. Με Έλληνε κομμουνιστέ στην Αμερική αποκλείεται. All celebrated the, the Greek entrepreneur. So I knew there was, you know, there was a lot of a different kind of history, and the Furious story, the Greek Furious story, hadn't been told. From 1900 to 1940, 1950, most Greeks were in the working class. And within the working class, there was a strong progressive movement. And during the 30s of the Communist Party, during the 20s or the 10s, there was the industrial workers of the world. Uh, and that's part of the story. So they were organized in the union, and the Greeks became one of the most uh, militant elements. The Communists played a leading role in the uh, Joint Council. and. People had confidence uh, in their leadership. His nickname was Kokinos, Red in Greek. That was my father. Lynn, going further north, Lowell, but all those areas had a heavily concentration of Greeks who had been uh, radicalized in the 20s. And so there, there was that ferment of uh, Greek workers. The American communists have a very good lesson to describe it. It's a tax The working class consciousness is Latin America.